Chuck, it's nice to head into 2014 undefeated uh, with a bit of uh, momentum at the moment, isn't it? Yeah, it was a great win the other night. Again, great atmosphere at Adelaide Oval and Adelaide Strikers fans have come out to support in their numbers and I'm sure they will again this game. But, yep, yeah, top going into the new year. Obviously, the Melbourne Stars and the Renegades play on Saturday night, so one of them is going to win. So again, in this competition, it's cutthroat, and uh, now the Sydney Sixers, that's where our attention turns to take on the Sydney Sixers here on Sunday night. They had a great win last night. What are their main uh, strengths? Yeah, it was a great win last night. I think most people thought the Brisbane Heat would probably chase those down, but Sydney Sixers showed again if they stick at it and just one wicket at an important stage. Brett Lee bowled really well at the end, I thought, you know, fast and full, and they've got a pretty well-balanced side, so it's going to be another big challenge for us. They've won this competition before, so they know how to win. Uh, a few changes, obviously disappointed to lose boats for a couple of games, but yep. a pretty exciting replacement. Yeah, look, bad news to lose our captain, no doubt. The striker's curse hits us again, but we're really delighted. Uh, look, boats will probably miss two matches, hopefully no more than that. Shaky Balasan, uh, former Bangladesh captain and an outstanding all-rounder, left-arm spinner, left-handed uh, punishing batsman, you know, strike rate of about 130. So we think we've got a really good replacement and a straight swap so our balance is not really affected. And Philip Hughes gets an opportunity to step up into the captaincy role, which I'm looking forward to working with him, seeing how he goes. We got him pretty well last year, obviously taking mm. a fair bit of confidence from that game. Yeah, we did, here at Adelaide Oval as well. So. We think we know the conditions pretty well, we'll be well planned for their opposition, but again in 2020 it's about bringing your A game on the night, it was Maxi Klinger's night the other night, obviously you know Hughes, Ferguson, we've got a couple of players that are ready to explode, Alex Hales has teased us and ready to explode here, so we think our powerful batting lineup can, can either set a big target or chase anything down. Uh, Richo hopefully back into the side and Holland back into the squad and a chance as well. Yeah, and, and that's great to have players like John Holland, Gary Putland, who uh, were pretty close last game, but they've been given the medical clearance this game. So they're both in the option to be chosen. Uh, and Kane Richardson had a, a bad virus, which, which the doc ruled him out the other day. Uh, it was disappointing for Richo, but hopefully, uh, look, he's here at training and he'll be, he'll be ready to go for the next game. Very quickly, general mission sell out some other crowd. It is, you know, and again... Um, it's great for the Adelaide Strikers. We love playing in front of our big home crowd. They made a noise and that gives us a little bit of advantage. So really appreciate the support. Adelaide Strikers fans, if you can't get down here, watch it on TV. And of course, we've got two more games coming up at Adelaide Oval a little bit later in the tournament. All the best. Thanks.